Do you want to know the secret that separates average home cooks from good and great home cooks? Is having access to your own herb garden. Any herb you grow yourself is going to taste so much better than an herb you buy at the grocery store. So in this video, I'm going to show you what herbs I'm growing in my garden and how to use those herbs to make a compound butter just like this one to make your food taste even better. One of the best ways to grow herbs at home is in the green stock garden tower. This is one of the most convenient ways to grow herbs in your home garden. So in this video, I'm going to harvest some of the herbs I'm growing, show you what I'm growing. And at the end, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a compound butter to make the flavor of my steak even better. So let's garden on. So the first herb that I'm harvesting out of my green star garden tower is thyme. Thyme's going to pair very well with steak and compound butter. So let's go ahead and take some of this thyme out of this garden tower. Chives are one of my favorite herbs to grow in my garden. Today I'll be harvesting some of these onion and garlic chives to make a compound butter later today. So stay tuned towards the end of the video to see how I'm going to make that compound butter but I'm growing garlic and onion chives. I'm gonna harvest both of these today. I'm even gonna harvest the little flowers on these chives to add to the compound butter. But I think you should add chives to your garden as well, especially if you like to cook because it's so easy to come out here to grab some fresh chives or either a compound butter like I'm gonna make or a baked potato. This next herb is the king of all herbs. All gardeners need to have basil in their home gardens. So I'm going to be harvesting some of this basil today to put it in that compound butter later tonight. To top this compound butter off, I'm going to be harvesting some sage from the second green stock garden tower. So let's go ahead and harvest some of this sage right here. Now that I've harvested all the herbs I need, let's go inside to show you how to make that compound butter. Compound butter is going to make your steaks taste so much better. It's actually what they use in most high-end restaurants when they're cooking steaks. Now making a compound butter with fresh herbs is super easy, especially if you have the convenience of having a home garden with fresh herbs in it. So the first thing you want to do is get some softened butter. This is salted butter, but in an ideal perfect world, I would have had unsalted butter so I can control the salt level. So I don't have any right now, so I'm using salted butter. All that means is I don't want to add any extra salt to this butter because it's already salted. Actually, I think I have five of these, so four or five half sticks would do. So the first herb that I'm adding to this compound butter are chives with a couple of the flowers. Go ahead and chop those up. So this is a mix of garlic and onion chives. So I'm adding a few leaves of basil to this compound butter as well. Just like with the chives, I'm gonna chop it up finely. The next ingredient in this compound butter is thyme. Don't wanna add too much, don't wanna overpower it. So I'm just gonna add about this amount right here as you can see. So I'm gonna take each uh, of the little stems and just pull some of the leaves off and just put it in, into the compound butter. I wanna to try to avoid putting the stems in the compound butter, I just want the leaves. You can really do this to taste based on how much you think you like each of these seasonings or herbs. So just you know, play it by eye and see what you like better. So I almost forgot this step, but you need to add a few cloves of garlic. So I have all my fresh herbs into my softened butter. So the last step to make this compound butter is to hit the puree function on my food processor. So I've just seared both sides of the steaks. Now I've moved these steaks off of the flames to the side of the grill where it's going to get some indirect cooking heat. I'm going to add the compound butter to the steaks, just right on top, just like that. 
And again, I want to cook this in indirect heat. Don't want it directly on top of the steaks. I want it to cook slowly so this butter melts and marinates the steaks while it's cooking. I'm gonna spread it on there just a little bit like that. So I hope this video has helped you in deciding what herbs to grow in your home garden. Now these were not the only herbs I grow, just some of the herbs I wanted to use in my compound butter. So hopefully you got some gardening tips and some cooking tips at the same time. If you found any information in this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more gardening videos. Thanks for watching.